All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, when we are talking about percents, all right, there's a couple things that we're going to work on with this um, as far as how we're going to identify um, what to be able to find. So a lot of times, you know, especially when you're looking at a tip and a bill, we're going to be looking at, you know, how to find the percent of a given number. So basically, though, I want you guys to think about What I want you guys to think about is exactly what are we talking about when we're dealing with um, when we're dealing with ratios and percents. What we're looking at is a part of a whole. Okay, Tiffany. So when we're looking at this part of the whole, we have seven percent, but seven percent has to be out of the maximum amount of percents, which is going to be what is the most amount of percent you can have is a whole of something is it going to be a hundred percent. All right, and they're looking at seven percent. That's going to be a part of 35, right? 7% is a part of 100%. And we want to figure out, well, then what is going to be the part of 35%, <coughs> correct? So if we're going to contrain a proportion, then it looks something like this, x over 35. We basically want to see what portion is going to be 7% of 35. Just like 7% is of 100%, what is that exact portion for x as to 35? So if you were to look at a cross, cross product here, what you would see, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm basically multiplying 35 times 7% is equal to x times 100%. All right, now most of you, what you guys like to do is, you know, most of you don't have to create all of this. We just really understand that oh, when I'm trying to find a percentage of a whole number, all you're basically doing is multiplying the percentage times your whole number. Do you guys see that? Right. So we don't have to go through this. I'm just using this as a teaching tool so you guys can say, oh, well, why don't then I set up 5% times 0.07. Right? That's basically what we're doing is multiplying 35 times 7%. But to multiply that, I'm going to want to convert my percentage to a decimal, and then when I'm multiplying a whole number times a percentage, we always make sure that we have the smaller of the two numbers below, right? We always make sure we have the smaller of the two numbers below, and if I do not have decimal points for my whole number, I'm going to have to include zeros. So now I simply use my multiplication algorithm, multiply 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 4 is 24. Then I have my place value, and I do 0. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's four zeros. Then I add those rows. So I add straight down 0, 0, 5, 4, 2. And then remember, when you're doing multiplication, Tyler, to determine where the decimal point goes, we basically add the number of place values to the right of my decimal, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. And therefore, I have 2.45. So if you look at that and you plug that in there, 2.45. Does that kind of feel like that would make sense of that being around 75% or about 7%? Does it think like it might make sense? Close? Yeah, that's right in there. It's just about the same fraction, it's about the same ratio, 2.45 over 35 is the exact same as 7% over um, 100%, right? So all basically, ladies and gentlemen, that you're doing is just multiplying your percent times your whole number, all right? You could obviously use this proportion and then solve from it from there if you wanted to do that as well, but that's not really as much necessary, okay? So to find the percents, you're basically multiplying them. So. You guys have.